hi guys this is Bupinder welcome to my channel I want to show you today how to change this green background to any background that you would like so let's get on and start doing it in a step-by-step -step fashion okay the first thing you need to do to take a picture with a green background of course and then you have to go to click on select and then click on color range then it automatically selects the picture and uh, this selects the background now because this is white that means this is going to be out so you need to if you do this the white is in and black is out so you need to do this remember to click on invert and then you can see that this is white so this is gonna be selected and you can select here from the drop down list quick mash and then you can see the color is changing that's why it's understanding what you're selecting then click on ok as you can see select pretty well recognize quite well and you can test it by coming down here and click on add a mask once you put a mask you can see what is being selected as you can see there are some green uh, lights still remaining at the, on the edges so in order to get rid of that what you got to do is to go one step back you can do that by clicking on Control, alt and Z and then when you are here then you go on select and then on refine edge click on refine edge then you can increase the radius uh, of the edges to make it easier so i make it on three persons three pixels radius once the radius is selected we got a brush as you can see I got a quite a small brush so you can come up here and change the size of this brush let's make it 90 and now it's better so you just draw on the edges like this as you can see when it's doing this it takes away the green light even further it basically depends how for how far you want to take this i think i'm gonna leave it in here for now and you can play with it uh, further to make it even more refined so once you're done with this just click ok refining the edges process is happening now it's better now what we got to do is to come here down again and click on add a mask so once you click on add a mask this is a bl uh, background that gone and we can add any background we want so I've selected already a picture here from my trip to Lake District in England uh, all you got to do is um, press Ctrl A then you select all the picture then Ctrl C you copy the picture then come back to the picture that you were working and then press Ctrl V so now this picture has been um, copied here so what you got to do is bring that other picture up on the layer so it will be on, sitting on the top then you can move this wherever you want so I'll move it to the left so that the ship would be more visible because it looks quite nice that ship so what you got to do is click on the layer again and right click on it and click on duplicate layer click OK now bring this layer on the top right click again on it and right click a bit more to the right side so 
so that these options would become available and then click on create clipping mask once you did that then go and select go to filter then go to blur and then select average and then go to the normal and select soft light and then click on op opacity and bring it down to around I would say 30% 30 32 would do so now it blends better like this but it's not the end of it the next step would be to go on filter again first uh, select the layer one that we just copied uh, original one and then go on filter and then go blur gallery and select tilt shift once you've done that bring this right to the bottom as you can see it made it more blur uh, the background makes it more realistic you can increase or decrease the blur like this one way okay and then you can bring it even more down so that will cover a big area and there is another option here to change the blur so that looks good distortion you don't need to do anything you can leave it zero and then click OK applying the blur now the blur is applied and now you can see this is our final picture looks pre pretty impressive uh, I really enjoyed doing this obviously we could make the edges a bit more uh, clear by going that refine edges I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn now how to change your background thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time bye